hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Jenna if you are new here today I just wanted to focus on doing some things that I had been putting off and procrastinating for a little while and these five kind of random things have nothing to do with each other but they are just things that have been sitting in the back of my mind as I really should do this I really should and I just haven't I'm sure everyone has these things in their life I am going to start by organizing my guest room closet I feel like almost everyone has one of these in their house where it's just a junk closet where you put everything in there <laughs> and you're like let's just forget about that one um, but that's what happened to our guest room closet so I'm gonna go and organize that I'm a little bit excited for it I'm gonna pull everything out and I feel like there's a lot more in there than I think there is so I'm hoping that I can do this in a somewhat timely manner so I'm gonna get coffee first and then I'm gonna go do that and yeah and then we're gonna just go get along with today and I will show you those other things that I have also been procrastinating and we are going to knock them out together <laughs> and this is our guest bedroom right here where I do most of my videos and filming it's somewhat organized like i can find things in here there's like decent looking stacks it isn't too crazy but i know like in there it's just real junky so i'm gonna rip out the entire closet hopefully it'll only take me an hour or two but i don't know because i can see myself getting really into this I can be a little bit of a nut when it comes to these things, but here we go. Jenna versus closet. So I'm all finished. It didn't take me too much time, but I did throw everything out all across the room. But let me give you a little tour of what it looks like now. Right here we have um, Paul's totes with all of his random stuff in it. Uh, both of our luggage with um, luggage stacked inside here for like smaller suitcases and stuff. This is my spillover clothing. These are all Dutch layers right here for when I go to work and have to wear those. Um, I created a hook up here for our hats right over here. So everything in these boxes, I have a whole little system. Um, right here is like wedding mementos and all kinds of memories and stuff from that. Up there I have uh, receipts. All of this is crafty related things like letters for my letter board, the photo albums I don't know what to do with. In this box I have cards when it's like a birthday or Christmas, Christmas cards and stuff in there. I have uh, photos in that box. Right here is where I condensed and put down all of my aerial rigging equipment and my aerial silk. So that is in there. Um, in that far box over there is all of my financial paperwork and um, any kind of filing situation. <laughs> it's all kind of disorganized in there. That's a whole other day that I need to go through that. Um, but here is electronics and then this top one is like Sharpies and markers and different scrapbooking things that I've had from over the years. I just put uh, some of my seasonal wreaths right there. We have our TV box and foam rollers and Paul's skateboard, but I went through literally so many things. From that, I was able to create a, a trash bag, a donation bag, and really got rid of a lot of stuff. So even though it's a sh like small closet and it's everything stuffed in there anyways, it's super organized and I can find everything now. So I feel so good about doing that. I am so glad that I did. Uh, right now I have to rush off to the next thing, which I will explain as I'm doing it, probably in the car, maybe after, but yeah, uh, number two thing is coming up right now. Hello, so I went and got my haircut. I have not had a haircut um, since I, like right before my wedding. And that was October of 2018. <laughs> it is February 2020, so please don't judge me. I just don't do it often. But my sister is a hairstylist, so she was giving me a lot of grief about my dead ends. And now it's all healthy again. It probably doesn't look any different um, to like someone who doesn't see me on a daily basis. <laughs> probably looks just as long. Um, but I got probably like two inches cut off. It feels really nice and healthy, which is good. I just need to take more hair vitamins and hair supplements 
because my hair will just get to a point and it does not grow past that and that's where I was at so I didn't really care too much about cutting it. I want it to be long, yes, but it won't really get past a certain point so I, I just got to a point where I needed to cut it. So I did, yay! feels great um now I'm gonna go hopefully get my ring re-soldered I got it done right after we got married and then probably six months ago it uh, came undone I think I just used my hands a lot and so it got a little bit rough with it I'm not sure what happened but my jeweler is down here in Minden where I'm at for my hair appointment so I'm gonna go try to get that redone. I will show you just the like initial process of me turning it in. I don't think that I can show you what it looks like after because I might have to drop it off and pick it up a couple days from now. But I've been meaning to do this for months, kind of forgot and didn't prioritize it, but it is time to get this done and get it re-soldered to my wedding band. I'm really excited to have it one piece again. <laughs> so let's go do that. I am ringless. <laughs> it's going to be done today at some point and hopefully I get to pick it up tomorrow all together in one piece. But that feels pretty good to be able to do that finally. Definitely have been putting that one off for a while. Like I said, I think like six months I have been putting that one off, but I'll have one unit as a ring instead of them like just shifting all over the place. It just drives me kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna drive now back to Carson City where I'll be able to get a couple more things done before the day is over, but I am starving right now, so I'm just gonna go get some lunch before I do all of that. But it's been a pretty good, productive day. Pretty excited getting these things knocked out, so. Yep, there's a couple more things to do. Hi again. So I finished the closet today. Got my hair cut for the first time in a year. Dropped off my wedding ring to be soldered. So right now I'm just wearing um, one of my silicone ones temporarily. And the thing that I just did, it took a little while. It's kind of getting dark outside. <laughs> But I have been meaning to print photos for my 2019 photo album. I found a online service that I could just upload it and it'll send to my house for not very much money. Hopefully it's good quality. I hadn't heard of the company before, but um, I mean, they're just photos. They can't turn out that bad, right? But I'm really excited because that has been something that I have just put off for so long. I love pictures. I love pictures so much. And just the process of going through a previous year. That's one of the reasons why I love New Year's. And New Year's Eve is my favorite holiday. Because I love going through old memories. And just seeing how far I've grown. And the people around me have grown. And seeing those relationships. And all the things I was able to accomplish in a year. Like, I really, really enjoy that because I'm huge on experiences and truly taking in everything that life has to offer. The last thing that I wanted to do today, because that was the fourth thing, the last thing I wanted to do today is so you see that map behind me? It is just like a world map that I've had above my bed for years in um, like my old bedroom before I got married. But we got for a wedding gift, we got a really cool, um, it's one of those scratch off maps where you have a map of the world or you can even get a US one, but we have a map of the world where you can scratch off everywhere that you have been or traveled to. We got gifted one of those. I have just been keeping it in this bedroom and it should fit in that frame. I'm pretty sure I measured it. It was a long time ago, so I'm pretty sure it should fit in that frame. And I just need to scratch off all the places that we've traveled to and then put it in the frame. So I've been putting that off for you know, since we got the gift back in 2018. <laughs> so thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. I would love to connect with you. So if you do end up following me on my social media, I would love to know your name, figure out where you're from, all that kind of good stuff. So please introduce yourself if you do choose to follow. And I can't wait to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.